welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to film what I would call a realistic, affordable video. So it's not drugstore and I haven't included anything that is considered high-end. For today's video, I picked up products from my collection that are just reasonably priced, really great products for what they are and nothing that's gonna break the bank. The star of the show today is the Sheer Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blushes. So the plan was to just use these as what they are, a liquid blush, but I actually ended up using it on my lips, eyes, and just pretty much all around. So today's video is sponsored by Sheer Glam, and thank you so much to them for allowing me to showcase these amazing products to you guys. So as you can see, these blushes are available in eight stunning shades and they retail, I cannot believe it, for only $5. Usually I like to make you guys wait to watch the video to find out what I think of a product, but I am just gonna let you know that the formula is incredible. The packaging is so luxurious, like I cannot fault anything about this product. The shade range is super versatile, it's a very good realistic shade range like you guys can see the diverse range of colors there's also a little brush which i used and this brush is amazing so i just thought i'd let you know that this particular brush works really well with the product so i would definitely recommend picking up the brush that goes with them so you guys will hear me mention about how good the formula is and how it just works well and blends anywhere you put it on the face whether you put it on before powder or after and that is because it is a gel cream formula i have used liquid blushes or cream blushes from super expensive high-end brands and the formula has not been this good so i just wanted to make that comparison so you guys know how amazing this product is these are actually also infused with vitamin c which is what gives that beautiful radiant finish. Another thing that I noticed is that you have full control over the intensity that you get out of these products. So you can just apply one layer and leave it there, or you can just keep going and building it up and it's not going to affect your makeup. Like I added it before powder and after and still it just looked extremely flawless. So ideally I would swatch them for you guys, but since I am wearing long sleeve today, I'm going to insert the clip right here, right now of all of the shades swatched from the website. There's a reason why they are trending on social media and why they're so popular because their stuff is honestly amazing. All of the details of what I used will be down below. And now let's get on with the makeup look. So for today's video, I wanted to specifically focus on what I would like to call mid-range makeup, which is luxury, high-end vibes, but it doesn't have the high-end price tag on it. The products that I'm using today are not drugstore and they are not high-end with you know the hefty price tag they're just what i would call and this is obviously subjective to every person's opinion but what i would personally call affordable um but just more in the high art sphere of affordable rather than like drugstore for my brows i'm going in with the huda beauty brow pencil in rich brown so this brow pencil is quite dark but i like that it matches my natural brow hairs So because this brow pencil is quite dark, it only takes like a few strokes to really get my brow done. Best affordable lip balm. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. This is honestly the best lip balm. I went through a phase where I was buying like $30 lip balms and then I discovered this from Stassi Baby. It's like $3. Best lip balm. By the way, I'm a little bit sick. I did have a photo shoot the other day and... I think just working really long hours that day literally killed me because I kind of lost my voice a bit. So if I sound a bit weird, that's why. I discovered this L'Oreal Plump Brow Gel and it's honestly really good. It just sticks the brows down nicely, which is what you want. So there's actually a little hack that I want to try with one of the more peachy blushes. So when I looked at one of the shades, I think it was this one, I thought it would be perfect to actually try the liquid blush as a color corrector. So this one is uh, Birthday Suit. I moisturized before I started filming, so I'm just going to add a little bit of primer quickly. 
So this is the liquid blush in Float On. Oh my god, that's literally perfect. This is amazing. This is like the perfect consistency. So you just focus it mainly where the darkness is. Not bad. So the color corrector that I do usually use is kind of like considered high-end to me so that's why I'm not using it today. I have actually seen the new, um, what's it called? I think it's called the Balm Foundation. I saw someone reviewing it and I am going to order it and try it because it looks amazing. I probably should have ordered it these blushes today because I don't doubt it would be amazing but yeah let me know in another video if you would like to see me try out the balm foundation from she glam but for today I am using the hoodie beauty foundation by the way guys my body is fake tanned at the moment so this foundation is a little darker for that reason I don't know if you guys have noticed this about me, but I actually honestly hate filming with my hair down. I just feel like it gets so in the way. But, and when I film with a bun, because I like to do my buns so tight I get a headache. So I've just kind of been trying to leave my hair down more. And it's annoying me. I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Baked Contour Stick. Here's one side of my face done. My hair's a bit annoying today. I actually got a bit of a fringe cut on set on my photo shoot, so I'm just getting used to that. See how pretty that blends out. I'm so excited to pop on this liquid blush. I have my eyes on this shade right here. This is Love Cake and it's so cute. I mean, I probably should go peachy, but I feel like this is just too pretty. The applicator is so soft. I love the whole concept, super easy to apply. And then I'm going in with the brush and it has a really cute little design on it. That is unbelievable. That is so pretty. That is super pretty. And I am going to also go in and add this after as well. But I think for the best impact, especially because it's liquid, it would look really good going in both before and after setting the rest of my face. So that's what I'm going to do. You know what guys, I'm going to layer because I'm having too much fun. This is the shade Risky Business. Well, that's a little bit darker. So I really love that there are shades for everybody in here. Like just swatching it, they've got the peaches, the pinks, but then they also have the deeper tones. I'm going to go in and set my under eyes with the Derma Blend. Oh, a lot came out. Derma Blend Powder. I got this off Amazon, by the way. And what's good about this powder being like completely translucent is it's not going to cover the shade of the blush under there and then I'm just going to dab it with a brush on the rest of my face. This powder however is a little bit different to what I usually use um, so I'm just going to dust it off straight away. Do you guys think MAC is like affordable or still Kind of high end. I think now in comparison to a lot of smaller brands coming on the market, Max like kind of just like norm pricing, like it's not really expensive like how we used to think it was. I feel like we have to shift our perception on what we consider like drugstore and affordable because I feel like some like affordable brands are actually like quite pricey now and then you have 
Brands like MAC that we used to think were expensive, but actually they're not. With powders, the blush still looks insanely good in person. Like, I don't think you guys can actually see how good it still looks. But I feel like I want to go on with more. A little while back, I did a campaign with She Glam for the Spring It On collection. I don't think this particular product is actually still available on the website because it did sell out quite quickly. I'm going to use it today just to showcase you guys the quality that this brand delivers. You know, I love a highlighted nose. Man, I'm already powdered, but I'm just going to like tap it on with my fingers. Or I could go on with a sponge, but fingers do a really good job. I actually don't really want too much on the cheeks. I prefer a little bit more on the nose and like the cupids there. I actually want to use the liquid blush as a shadow. So just for a transition, I'm going in. You can't get this anymore, so I'm sorry. But this is um, my old Laverna palette. And so many of you guys already have it. So I'm just going to go in with one of the transition shades just to sculpt my eyes. I'm just going to sculpt the eye and then place the liquid blush on the center. I feel like Hush Hush is going to be really cute on the lid space. I'm going to try it. I'm going to go with my finger. It's pretty. Okay, let's see. That's so pretty. I actually love that. So it's just kind of going to blend in together with the crease color. I picked the lightest shade, by the way, because I didn't want it to be too much on the lid. Just to showcase another way that you can obviously use it and incorporate it into your makeup look. I'm just going to add a bit of brown. I don't know if you guys can see much on camera, but in person, my lids look so pretty because they're not completely matte. They have like this little slight, like something to it, and I'm obsessed. Like it looks so elegant and feminine and pretty, and I love it. I'm happy I came up with that little hack. I'm going to do no eyeliner today because I want to keep this look super blushy and fresh, and I feel like no eyeliner is the way to go for that. I'm going to pop on some lashes. I'm just going to go in with the Kiss pompadour lashes and I'll be back to finish off with the look. I'm back so I feel like I look super blushy in person like the stain power especially going on top of powders is just incredible. I have used liquid blushes before or cream blushes where as soon as powder goes on top um, it completely disappears but the amount of pigment that just showed through Everything is amazing, but what I've been dying to do is actually use this as a lipstick because I can just tell by the amazing formula it's going to look really good. I've been using these lip liners heaps lately, so I'm going to go in with the shade Fawn. What do we think of birthday suit? I'm going to do it. That is so pretty. I love that. It literally feels like a lipstick, but creamy. Like a liquid lipstick, but creamy. Can we just take a minute? That looks amazing. So I'm just going to show you guys what it applies like on top of powders, because that's the real test. Instead of going on with the little applicator, I'm going to go on with the brush. Oh my god, that's amazing. Still perfect application. This formula is amazing. The fact that it applies really good on top of powders as well. It blends well before powder, after powder, on the lips, on the eyes. It literally performs amazing wherever you put it. Although this is in fact a liquid blush, it honestly has my tick of approval for a multi-use product because why not like look at that and I don't know if you can see the formula leaves a very slight glow on the face this is it for today's look so thank you all so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye